Hi there everyone, I'm Mark from Folkway Music up here in Waterloo, Canada. Hope everyone's well. I have with me here a 1966 Gibson B25. It's a really clean guitar. It's a client's instrument. And uh, these guitars don't have the best reputation for tone, and that's largely because they're built with adjustable bridges and big heavy duty bridge plates. This guitar uh, came in for conversion from adjustable bridge to a drop-in bridge, which is a not uncommon thing around here. Um, here is what came off the guitar. It actually had a plastic bridge, ceramic saddle, and a big plywood bridge plate. Uh, if you followed me on, on uh, YouTube, um, you'll know that I've waxed poetic about this plastic bridge setup in a video uh, a few months back. This is another one. This is what came off this guitar, and if you didn't see that video, the plastic bridges are injection molded hollow plastic parts that are held onto the guitar with these four bolts right there. And then these larger nuts and bolts are what anchor the ceramic adjustable saddle. So the bridge is largely just there for show. Uh, the saddle is doing all the work and the bridge plate is doing all the work, which is a thick 3 16 thick three ply bridge plate that's rather large. So this guitar didn't sound very good. It looked fabulous, but it didn't sound all too, all too great. Um, so the job entails taking this bridge off and the bridge plate out. And I've made and installed a much smaller solid maple bridge plate that's just about the size of this bridge and positioned immediately underneath it. It's about a hundred thousandths thick. It's old hard, hard maple, uh, just like a 50s Gibson would have had, let's say. Um, and then I had to make a new bridge. And so I have a, a lot of old Gibson bridges as I've done this job a lot, um, some of which, most of which are broken, like this one is, and, uh, but the one that I grabbed from the pile to copy for this guitar was a near mint condition 1966 bridge that came off of a, an Epiphone Cortez many years ago. And uh, I put it on the guitar and it fit just perfectly and it looked great on the guitar and I thought to myself, well why bother copy this bridge? I have the right bridge right here. So I use that bridge. This is a 1966 original Gibson bridge that's on this 1966 guitar. So is that original? I don't know, you decide. Anyways, but it's still an adjustable bridge. So what I did, this is the fun hack part, is uh, I'll just take the saddle out for a moment here. We'll get to that. So the bridge has been infilled right here with rosewood. So I, I, I fashioned some rosewood that had a taper uh, that matched the taper of the bridge. Um, and uh, basically fit it inside inside the slot um, very precisely. It took, a, it took a little bit of time till it just fit just right. I glued it in and I set it uh, at a height that will let my new saddle insert be positioned exactly where I want it so I don't have to shim it or lower it or anything. It's exactly the height. When I put the strings on this guitar it will be set up and I won't have to do anything. Um, and uh, glued it on, I glued it on last night. And then the, the saddle, this is what makes this whole thing possible. Um, we used to have to make these saddles, these replacement saddles by hand and it would take forever and, and never look fabulous and stink because it's a lot of bone dust. Uh, now you can get these replacement bone uh, adjustable saddle looking things from Hosco. They're made in Japan, they're CNC made and they're very accurate. This is what it looks like out of the, out of the box. And uh, so what I did is I took one of these saddles and then I took the original screw hardware uh, and I trimmed them off and glued them in. You see how it's just, the screw is there just for show. And then this whole thing is now my drop in saddle. It's a quarter inch wide, um, but I put it in here. It fits just like a drop in saddle should. It's nice and snug. And it looks like a slightly earlier Gibson B25 with an original bridge but it's gonna sound more like a late 50s LG2. Um, so here's a way that you can modify an adjustable bridge Gibson without doing any really terrible uh, cosmetic things to the guitar. I've never really liked the look of these big bridges with an eighth of an inch saddle in them or this part infilled with rosewood even if you're great at matching it, you can always spot it. And then the saddle inside there kind of looks a bit like a clown mouth I've never been a fan of that look, so these new adjustable uh, saddle inserts from Hosco allow us to do all sorts of cool things. And uh, 
And yeah, so I'm going to string it up soon. I haven't heard it yet. I'm very excited to hear this because I'm sure it's going to be a great guitar. The tops are pretty thin on these instruments. The bracing is not too heavy. And so I expect this will be a pretty good sounding guitar, like a decent late 50s LG2. The only difference being it's got the skinnier neck of the late 60s. But it looks pretty pretty right. If I didn't tell you all that, all about that, you might think, or you probably would think, that this is a totally original bridge on this guitar. So, um, anyways, it's a really neat hack. It's, it's kind of vintage appropriate, maybe a bit more acceptable than a wholesale change, and, um, and uh, a pretty straightforward, easy job to do. You, all you need to do is get these saddles and either have or fashion a bridge that looks just like this, and you're off to the races. Anyways, I hope you enjoy that, and uh, maybe it gives some repair people amongst us um, some inspiration to, to approach this job a bit more creatively uh, and leave our old Gibsons looking like old Gibsons. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you again sometime down the road, and take care.